come with me for a fun and fascinating look at many types of racing cars, motorcycles, and go-karts. Today, we're going to a racetrack in Tooele, Utah. Utah is a state located in the western part of the United States in the Rocky Mountains. The racetrack we're visiting is Miller Motorsports Park. This park has one of the most modern and extensive racing facilities in the United States. You're looking at an aerial view of the racetrack right now. This track is located at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Some of these mountains reach up to 12,000 feet above sea level, or 4,000 meters. The racing facility itself is about 5,000 feet above sea level. There are always lots of entertaining things happening at the track. Come with me, today we're going to the motorcycle racetrack. My name is Ruth Todd. Today, we're going to take a look at motorcycle racing. We're at Miller Motorsports Park in Tooele, Utah, one of the best racing facilities in the United States. Many world-class drivers who race here at Miller think it's one of the best tracks in the world. These tents are the home base for this weekend for the Ducati Motorcycle Racing Team. Ducati is an Italian brand. This team has come all the way from Italy to compete in the Western United States. This race weekend at Miller Motorsports Park features an international race series. Motorcycle riders and racing teams come from all over the world to participate in this event. Drivers come from all parts of Europe, South America, North America, and the Far East. It is truly an international competition. This rider is from Japan. Earlier, he fell off his motorcycle and hurt his shoulder. The bag of ice on his shoulder reduces the pain and keeps his shoulder from swelling. It will be very painful for him to ride his motorcycle during the races this weekend. Motorcycle racing is extremely exciting, and as you will see today, it can also be extremely dangerous. Racing motorcycles travel at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour that's nearly 300 kilometers per hour. And of course, when motorcycles crash, there is very little protection for the drivers. Let's take a look at this exciting form of motorsports racing. Come with me to the motorcycle track. Motorcycles are very lightweight and very powerful. They are also aerodynamic. Notice the fairing on the front of the motorcycle. The fairing allows the air to pass around the driver as quickly and efficiently as possible. It almost makes the motorcycle slippery as it passes through the air. Drivers lower themselves behind the fairing in order to reduce wind resistance and make the motorcycle as aerodynamic as possible. International motorcycle racing is new in this part of the United States. Many of these fans are coming to the racetrack for the first time to watch this exciting form of racing and learn more about it. This is one of the European drivers. Notice all of the emblems on his racing suit, on his helmet, and on his motorcycle. These emblems contain the names of companies which sponsor this rider and his racing team. All of the motorcycles which race in this series are manufactured in Japan and Italy, but the drivers, they come from all over the world. 
It's almost time for racing to begin. Riders and teams are making last minute adjustments to their motorcycles. This driver is getting last minute instructions from his team manager before qualifying. Qualifying is a process of preliminary lapping on the track to determine who the fastest riders are. The fastest riders begin the race at the front of the grid. The grid is the part of the track where the drivers position themselves before the race begins. The grid is usually located at the start and finish line where the race begins and where it ends. Drivers achieve speeds of nearly 200 miles per hour or 300 kilometers per hour on this straight. Then they need to drop their speed by more than 60% for the first turn. With over 50 drivers trying to negotiate the first turn at the same time, it is the most dangerous part of the racetrack. The first turn of any race is always the most exciting. It looks like all of these riders got through the first turn without any accident. Hello, I'm Ruth. Learning to speak English can change your life. Knowing this valuable language can provide you with so many opportunities in education as well as the job market. Now you can learn English just by watching television. Introducing Hello Channel, a channel designed to help you learn English right in your own home. You can choose from Hello Channel's classroom programming or you can watch great entertainment. All of it will teach you how to speak English. Hello Channel offers programs on every level, so you'll find something exactly right for you. Start today to build success by learning English. For a brighter future, say hello. Welcome to Come With Me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. Professional motorcycle races are generally fairly short. Most of the races last less than one hour and include about 30 laps around the track. One of the interesting things about motorcycle racing is that you can see very clearly how the rider and the bike work together. Notice how the riders position themselves on their motorcycles in order to turn and make themselves more aerodynamic on the straight part of the racetrack. Notice the lean angle on the motorcycles. The tires on these bikes have very good grip or traction. Notice that the tires are rounded to provide adhesion at almost any lean angle. These motorcycles weigh under 350 pounds or about 150 kilos. 
The engines displace about 1,000 cc's, that's about one liter, but they often produce over 200 horsepower. That creates a very extreme power to weight ratio. Power to weight ratio. Racing motorcycles can accelerate and decelerate very quickly. Notice that this driver elevates himself on top of his motorcycle as he is slowing down for the turn. When a driver elevates himself like this, it actually creates wind resistance against his body and helps slow down the motorcycle. The motorcycle needs to slow down in order to negotiate the turn. While exiting the turn, the driver will lower himself behind the fairing in order to reduce wind resistance and to accelerate more quickly. Oftentimes, riders will extend their knees to the pavement to gauge the lean angle of the motorcycle. This helps the driver know how close the motorcycle is to the pavement. Notice the drivers have large pads on their knees to protect themselves from the hard pavement at high speeds. When driver's knees are extended, it also creates additional wind resistance and helps slow the motorcycle. In car racing, the drivers have electronic communications with their team managers in the pits. Motorcycle riders receive information from the pits through a pit board. This team manager is relaying information to his rider through the black board that he is holding. This pit board contains information such as the driver's position in the race how many laps have been completed, how many laps remain, and distance to the rider in front or behind. One of the most exciting and compelling things about motorcycle racing is the element of danger. These riders are going so fast that even the slightest mistake can result in a painful fall. Watch. Drivers risk all of that danger for the possibility of winning the race. There is no better feeling than finishing first. This race is over. Course workers wave flags to congratulate all the riders, the rider who won the race, riders who finished the race, and all of the riders who competed. This team is watching the race on video monitor. Their driver wins the race, which makes for a very successful weekend for all of them. Many hard hours of preparation go into each race weekend. And when your team wins, it is rewarding and satisfying. When your team loses, it is frustrating and disappointing. The first three drivers receive their trophies and prizes. Then they celebrate by spraying champagne. Spraying champagne is a tradition typical in all forms of motor racing.